Um, hi, I've been gone for how long? When was the last time I streamed? When was the last time I streamed? March 2nd. So I've been gone for 12 days. That's probably the longest break I've took from streaming since I started streaming. Um, so here we are. <laughs> um, it was good though. I took, uh, I took 10 days off. Well, technically I was gone for 10 days to go to Arizona, uh, where my sister was having her bachelorette party and slash bachelor party, um, which I was, I was part of with her fiance, uh, in Phoenix area, more specifically Scottsdale. Uh, and it was a good time. We just, uh, hung out and, uh, I, I drank a lot of alcohol and you then I- uh, Bobber, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you for keeping that hype train rolling. Um, I appreciate it. I wonder how many people think you died. <laughs> I mean, I think most people knew I probably didn't die. But you know what? If you thought I died, you know, happy to report. Still here, still living. Although, a little, a little worse for the wear. And I'll tell you why. Because I think I may have broken or at least badly bruised one of my ribs. <laughs> That is, uh, and that is not a lie. I, um, so at this bachelor party, we were there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we left on Sunday. And on Sunday, I drove down to Tucson where my parents have a place. And then I spent the rest of my time in Arizona there. Um, and that was a good time. Relaxing, much more relaxing than, uh, than a bachelor party. But, uh, the first, the first full night, the first full day and night that we were there, um, we, we just like stayed in a house and um, we just kind of like hung out. And then at night we went like out to bars and stuff. One of the things we did was ax throwing. Very fun, by the way, not related to my injury, luckily. Although you might, <laughs> you might, that might be your first uh, inclination is to think that that's why I had that injury. No, uh, the actual reason is much more stupid. Um, so we did that. And then on Saturday night, uh, the bachelorette party, which was... My sister and her friends and my wife, Britta, who most of you know, um, were at another house, but like within walking distance of our house. So Saturday night, we went over there. We had like a barbecue and just like a little party at their house. Um, and I and most people present uh, drank quite a bit. Um, now, I, I remember everything from that night, um, but I do have one regret. <laughs> What, so let me explain something here. My sister all throughout her time in college uh, in high school was like a, a top level swimmer. Um, she like competed in like uh, the highest level of like collegiate swimming in the NCAA. Um, what it, why can't I think of like what the what the top schools are called? Whatever. She like the highest level she competed in it. Um, and so Pretty much all of her friends are also swimmers. You like the Ultra Kill poster? Thanks. I appreciate it. I've also got other ones. Dusk, then the Medievals over here cropped off a little bit. So yeah, basically all of her friends are, are swimmers. They're very fit. And one of them in particular, and th these are people I know. These are people I've met before. They're not like random strangers. One of them in particular uh, is like also like a, like a fitness trainer. Uh, she's like works at a gym and everything. So she's very strong. Um... <laughs> But I, I turned, I don't even remember what the context was for this, but I turned to Britta. Oh yeah, no, Britta was explaining one time where I could not find her in a crowd because she was standing right in front of me and she's like a foot shorter than me. So she was like here and I was looking around like, where's Britta? Um, and she told that story. And I said, in my drunken state, I turned to her and went, get taller, loser. <laughs> And this particular friend of my sister's goes, can I punch him? <laughs> and Britta goes, yes. And I turn to her and I like, I just spread my arms out and go, do it. And so she punches me. I did not think she would punch me as hard as she did, but she punched me very, very hard. Like right here, right? Like under my like, uh, left peck. Um, and it hurt pretty bad when she did it. I, I knew she hit me pretty hard, but I shook it off. I was like, all right, whatever. 
it didn't really hurt too bad like in the moment like once it was done like kind of stinging from the initial blow it didn't hurt too bad and i just continued with my night wake up the next day ribs are hurting a little bit i'm not gonna lie ribs are hurting a little bit i'm like oh she hit me pretty hard but whatever you know i go on with my day all that that day included was me going out to get breakfast with uh, some of the people from the bachelor bachelorette party and then just driving down to uh to tucson you know i'm like i'll, I'll sleep it off I'll, I'll sleep it off it'll be fine wake up the next day huh it still kind of hurts pretty bad maybe even a little worse doesn't matter i i go on a hike that day you know at all, a whole bunch of stuff and it's it's fine it's not like hurting too bad just like a little bit i'm like huh this hurt this is hurting a little worse and a little longer than i thought it would um and you know so i go through the whole week i'm living my life normally the rib hurts a little bit uh like on and off you know especially when i sleep on it and i, I don't know it just uh <laughs> the entire week goes by and um and yeah, it, I just, it doesn't go away. And I'm like, well, damn, my, my rib is really fucked up. And so I don't know if it's broken, but I, I like, I did a little searching around to figure out, I was like, what do you even do about a broken rib? Cause I was like, I could go like get it x-rayed. Turns out, even if you get it x-rayed confirmed, there's nothing that doctors can do about it. It's basically just like, just baby it a little bit and it'll heal up. <laughs> so here I am with possibly a broken rib. I don't know if it's broken, but it's it's definitely at least bruised. Um, <laughs> so that that's it. Yeah, that's that's the story. That's how I maybe, maybe broke my rib on this trip. I didn't know like what a broken rib would be like, but um, it like, it hurts like really kind of like consistently. And uh, <laughs> Especially like when I lay down at night because I kind of sleep like on my side or on my stomach So a lot of times I'm putting a lot of pressure on it But it doesn't hurt that bad I've always like thought of like having a broken rib as being possibly like a ton of pain uh, Not that I'm recommending you go <laughs> you go break your rib But like I I've kind of I've just been living with it like I, I still like do stuff Yeah, I went on like a bunch of hikes in Arizona Um and, and it never really bothered me all that much. In fact, it bothered me the most when I was sleeping at night because I would kind of lay on it. I'm going to break my rib. You know what? Godspeed, soldier. Good luck. So I have a question. <laughs> you say you didn't die, but how do we know you're a... How do we not know you're a skinwalker who killed and replaced Dumpster Man? How do you not know that I was that before? What, who, what do you think the real Dumpster Man is? That's the real question. The Dumpster Man I know has his ribs fully intact. I'll, I'll say that. Running is when my rib hurts the most. I, I, do you just have like a perpetually broken rib? What are we talking about here? Did you go to a place called EG's in Tucson? I've been there before, but not this time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping mine heals up. I'm going to like, I got to exercise too. So I'm probably going to ride like the bike and stuff. I don't know if I can lift with this. That would probably be bad. The pizza fries slap. I've never had that. Um, you were born in Tucson. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm familiar with EGs for sure. I am familiar for sure. My ribs be flexing. <laughs> what? Just you're flexing perpetually broken ribs. What are we talking about here? I, I'm so confused. Jesus Christ. Anyways, um, what else? Do I have anything else to say? Oh yeah, my fucking bag got lost too. That was another thing. This trip probably sh sounds really lame because I haven't talked about any of the cool parts of it. I've just been like, I broke my I broke my ribs and I lost my bag. Time to ask you the same question: Is cheesecake a pie? I don't, I don't know. I've never thought about this. Isn't it a cake? No, I guess you're right because the filling is like, yeah, it's got like filling like a pie. I guess it's a pie. I guess it's a pie, yeah. Why is it called cheesecake? It is more similar to a pie than it is to a cake. It's kind of its own thing, though. I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I wish I had a better answer for you. Um, no. Okay. Good rebuttal. No, so Delta lost my bag. Uh, on my way home. Well, they didn't lose my bag. It's so stupid. 
they put it on a different flight from Phoenix to Minneapolis where I live. Uh, and so it got in early. And so I, I land. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, my jury. Ha hope you had a good, had a good one slash are having a good one. I think it's probably pretty late where you are. Uh, um, but yeah, I hope you had a good one. Um, but yeah, so I, I get in, I get an email that's like, Hey, your bag is already here and it's being held at the baggage desk. So I'm like, okay, like I'll just walk to the baggage desk and just go get it. Get down there. The baggage desk is open and I stand in line. It's a short line. It's like two people ahead of me. So I'm like, okay, this is great. I'll get help. So we'll get, I'll get my bag and then we can just go home. This is like one in the morning, by the way. <laughs> I get, I get there. I stand in line for like five minutes. Some, someone uh, gets helped and then walks away. And then like the, the lady working the desk gets on the, the speaker and is like, like, if you're in line, uh, my shift is ending and I'm not going to be able to help you. Like, I'm sorry. You'll have to come back tomorrow at 5 a.m. I'm like, I'm not fucking coming back at 5 a.m. <laughs> so I'm like, I guess I'll just like call the airline and just hope that they send my bag. Um, and so that's what I did the next morning. I called them and I talked to a very nice guy from Delta who was like, hey, we're sorry that happened. They shouldn't have done that. We'll make sure your bag gets sent to you. All, all good. But then I sit there all day, all day yesterday, all day today. And my bag is still saying, sitting at the baggage desk. So I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so I still don't have my bag. That has a bunch of my clothes and uh, like, you know, shampoo and stuff in it. Uh, and, and a toothbrush, which all, all of which I were easily replaced. But still, I'm like, can I just get my damn bag? Like, I'm lucky there wasn't anything of much importance in there. I just want my damn bag back. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. Hopefully I can get that squared away tomorrow. My V1 body pillow. Hey, listen, listen. It's a necessity when I travel. I haven't been able to sleep without it. Made costume. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, <laughs> anyways, welcome to the stream. That's been my past 12 days or so. Really just like two pretty minor inconveniences for my past, like, two weeks or so, but, uh, it's good to be back. I had actually a pretty productive day. I got a lot of stuff done, um, for YouTube. I got some kind of like planning stuff done on the stream front. Um, and I'm just excited to be back. I'm excited to have a good week. Um, we got a lot of fun stuff coming up today. Obviously I'm doing the dumpster dive, which we'll talk about in a second, as well as playing some new games. Um, I'm also giving away, I have six keys for the game dimensional slaughter to give away throughout the stream um and i think i'll do i think i'll do two at the end of the dumpster dive uh and then i'm gonna play some dimensional slaughter and i'll do two after that and then i think i'll give away two at the end of the stream so uh stick around if you want to if you want to get in on that i got it already unfortunately yeah i think you're maybe the only person in chat who owns it uh, but anyways i got six keys to give away so if you're here odds are pretty good that you could get one um and then Beyond that, I um, I have a couple other games to play. A new, an interesting looking one called Gripper, which I think is kind of like a Fury inspired game. Um, and I got sent like early access for that. And I think I can fight the first two bosses on stream um, without any issues. I think beyond that, I can't, but um, but I can, I can at least try out those first two bosses. I think that'll be fun. And then, if I still have more time after that, there is actually a new Shadows of Doubt demo. Um, which, let me make sure this command works. If you haven't seen, I talked about in my latest video. Um, so go check that out if you're interested in it. Um, not 100% if I will get to that tonight, but uh, that'll be the last thing I do if, I, if I'm able to get to it. So, all good? All good. First up, though, the dumpster dive and you know what that means i don't have this prepared per usual but you know what that means you already know what it means <laughs> or maybe you don't maybe you don't and that's fine too <laughs> dramatic pause dramatic pause that's right It's garbage day. Garbage day? 
No! Oh yeah. It's garbage day. So what I'm doing today is I am going to be... Uh, why does he kill the guy? You know what? That's a great question. I've never seen the movie that that comes from. Uh, maybe someday I will. Maybe... I, ooh, you know? It would be fun. I wonder how, like, intense the copyright on that movie is. Um, because I would love to, uh... <laughs> I would love to watch that on stream and just, uh, just see, you know? Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. Thank you. I couldn't remember the name of it. But now, so what I'm doing is, um, first of all, if you're in the Discord, um, you can contribute to the Dumpster Dive. And this week's topic, I am looking at your most played games on Steam, and I am roasting them and or complimenting them if they're good. Um, I think this will be fun. Uh, I've seen, uh, what's his name? I've watched some of his videos uh, on, on this before. Carson Runquist. Uh, he will roast people's letterboxed, which is like for movies. And I was like, that would be fun to do, but with like Steam profiles. So uh, so shout out to Carson Runquist. I'm stealing your idea kind of and twisting it. Um, but yes, if you want to contribute in the Dumpster Dive channel, you can post either a screenshot or a link to your account. I think your account has to be public for me to be able to see the games. Um, and then I think uh, I will give out two dimensional slaughter keys to the profiles that I like the best. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Let's see. Let me just update my title really quick. Boom. Someone posted the whole movie on YouTube. Yeah, but is it is it copyright claim? That's my biggest worry. Is it like I'll watch it and then I'll get in like big trouble? We'll see. We'll see. That that could be that could be a funny thing if I could if I could uh, if I could sneak it out. You know, if I could do it. Spoilers. It's not very good. That doesn't shock me. What's up, rude? You're not late. We're just getting started. Okay, so let's see here. Basically. Um, if you, if you haven't yet and you want to submit your, your profile, here's what you do. Let me just make sure this works. Okay. Um, so here's my account. Uh, you just go to up here and just click on your name then go to games, which I have almost a thousand. Um, and then you go by playtime. So here, uh, I'll just, I'll start with mine. You know what? I'll, I'll roast my own. Honestly, this kind of roasts itself. 1600 hours of Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I love Siege. I actually think Siege is a great game. The biggest problem with Siege is the community fucking sucks. Um, and that is why I do not play it anymore. Last played February 11th. And honestly, the last time before that was like summer of last year. Uh, however, I do still think the game is fun. I boot it up with friends every now and then and enjoy it. Um, but man, if I couldn't take back, you know, at least half of those hours, I, I, I probably would. Uh, <laughs> I probably would. Believe it or not, Elden Ring, next most played. Coming out this year. I have played a lot of the game, but like 270 hours is, uh, is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Um... Uh, Almost an unbelievable amount. I still haven't 100% of the game, but I'm close. Um, Skyrim, not surprised. I did play through this game quite a few times. Uh, vanilla, modded, you name it. Um, and I think if you add my uh, special edition hours into this, it's it's over Elden Ring for sure. Um, we'll get to special edition, I'm sure. Witcher 3, this is like one playthrough of the game, honestly. That game is insanely long. <laughs> Civ 5. <laughs> This is almost kind of unbelievable. I feel like I haven't played this much of this game, but it's like a go-to with me and my friends. Let's see. Have you ever tried Bone Dust? Is that a game? I've never even heard of it. You heard about the Tarkov situation? No. No, I have not. 
Did not take you as a Civ guy? Yeah, I'm not really like a turn-based strategy, like 4X kind of guy, but a lot of my friends like it, and um, I don't know. It's like fun to play with friends. We just like fuck around, name our cities stupid stuff, and whatever. <laughs> Terraria. It says last played October 2021, but I think more realistically, uh, the last time I honestly played this was like 2017. Yeah, I, I think that the, I played the bulk of this before this game really had achievements. Um, that's the only way I can explain that. Because I did play a lot of this game. I It's been a really long time, though. Stardew Valley. What needs to be said? Great game. Ultra Kill. I thought I had a little bit more hours than this. But maybe not all of them have registered on here yet. Either way, I mean, over 100 hours in a game that can be beaten in about, like, six hours <laughs> is a lot. That's a that's a fuck ton. I don't really play games like that where I just replay them and replay them and replay them. Not often, at least. 100 hours in New Vegas. Uh, almost 100 hours in Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I think I have close to 100 in the original as well. 91 hours in Dishonored. That's probably, like, four or five playthroughs. That's probably four or five playthroughs, I would say. <laughs> I've played a lot of Dishonored. Fallout 4. I'm a little surprised I have 91 hours in that game. Assassin's Creed 2, I've played through a few times, but it's been a long time. Um, Cyberpunk, that's one playthrough. Also, another long game. Oblivion, I can't believe I've played 80 hours of Oblivion. And here we go, here's the original Binding of Isaac. So about 180 hours between the two of them, which is a ton, but still I know so many people with way more than that. And then beyond that, it gets a little weird. Dark Souls 3 has climbed up, especially after the randomizer. Slay the Spire. I thought I had more in Slay the Spire, but maybe it doesn't log Steam Deck hours. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, um, that's mine. So let's let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. I got to scroll up to the beginning in the Discord. You can feel free to roast mine as well, by the way. It's, you know, it's a fair game. If I'm roasting yours, you can roast mine. I think mine's pretty good, though. This is a Steam account that I've, uh, that I've kind of curated over a long period of time. So, uh, I feel okay about it. This is sequel. I want to see... I wasn't able to click on his games before. Uh, and I still can't. I don't know if sequel's here, but sequel, if you could, uh, if you could post a, um, a screenshot, that would be great. Only 62 hours in risk of rain, I guess. And that, that doesn't feel like that small of an amount, honestly. That, like, I, I feel like I've played a lot of that game. Got 30 hours in chess.com in like a week. If only Steam tracked that. Um... Okay, here we go. Here's this is Flippy. I got two two pages from Flippy here. Okay, all right. This one's little embarrassing. <laughs> this is in Turkish, so I'm not like 100% sure how to read it. Spirit Fair? I think Britta played Spirit Fair on Switch. Or Thunder. <laughs> this is most played game with only 151 hours. That's still too much for for War Thunder, but it's not that much for your most played game on Steam. I guess Flippy just has a life, which is, you know, good for him. Forts, 111 hours. I own this game and I've never played it, but it seems kind of fun, actually. Don't let him near any military plays, true. Uh, Max Payne 2, kind of based. Is Max Payne 1 on here, though? That's that's what I want to know. Unturned. I played a little bit of this game. I remember this game fucking sucking. I don't know how Flippy played almost 50 hours of it. 44 hours of Barrow Trauma. We're, we're kind of alternating, like, whack. Uh, kind of whack, based, whack, based. Uh, kind of based again, actually. Barrow Trauma, Dying Light. I've never played Dying Light, but uh, I've heard it's cool. Um, let me see. And Stick Fight the Game, ultra based. <laughs> ultra, ultra based. <laughs> uh, 28 hours in Stick Fight is actually insane. Broke my laptop. I am sorry to hear that. 
Ultra kill. Only 22 hours in ultra kill for Flippy. I'm a little surprised by that. I kind of imagined that he had played more. Tab G. I never played this, but I assume he plays it with Dave. Impact point grinding 16.7. Hmm. And Brawlhalla. He plays it with you and Dave. Gotcha. The mods. This is all the mod uh, Tab G playing. Brawlhall is kind of crazy. Honestly, platform fighters are cool, but I've only ever heard like bad things about Brawlhall. <laughs> like people who love that game will be like, don't play it. <laughs> That's like nothing relatively. What? 70 hours or 20 hours? Because I agree 20 hours is a very small amount for ultra kill. 70 is not that small. Yeah, so what to say about this? This is like <laughs> collecting free games, which I can kind of understand because uh, Flippy is Turkish and I believe games are like Omega expensive in Turkey. So it kind of makes sense that he only owes, owns like a few paid games. I won't judge for that. I feel like as far as the free games here go, they're not that bad. Um, they could be a lot worse. So yeah, I, I will I will bestow to Flippy, kind of whack, but made do with what he had. <laughs> Who do we have next? Uh, this is Shock, Shock Blade from the Discord. Ooh, this is kind of good actually. I actually kind of fuck with this one. Flippy has a life. Yeah, that too. That too. Yeah, I. You know, I like to think I have a life, but I'm also a streamer. So a lot of my game time is on stream. And then uh, even more has come from the fact that my Steam account is like 15 years old as well. My, my Steam account is probably older than some chatters. <laughs> uh, most played game, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. I'm not a racing game guy, but I, I respect racing games. Um, and I will say that out of any games, any racing games that I've played... Burnout Paradise is fucking sick. That is such a good game. Um, I just loved like the, uh, what was it called? Like the, the mode where you just crash into cars and see how big of a pile up you could make. That was so fun. Doom Eternal, pretty cool. Deep Rock Galactic, pretty cool. Um, these are, these are good games to, uh, to have at the top of your list, in my opinion. They're, they're both a little farther down for me. These are probably both in like the... 20, 30, 40 hour range for me. Um, if I had to guess. A duck game. I've never played, but that's like a... Duck game is like a... It's it's kind of like a parody platform fighter, isn't it? Or am I am I totally getting that wrong? I know it's like a it's like a goofy, silly game that I probably own because it was like 50 cents on uh on Steam at one point. What do we got for page two here? Oh, 28 hours in Among Us. All right. Or Need for Speed. Another Dying Light. So a playthrough of this game must be about like 30 hours long. Because I think Flippy had like 35. Shock has like 25. And Pummel Party? I fuck with Pummel Party. I've had many a fun night on this game with my friends. So yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I would say that... Manganese, John Oha wants us. <laughs> I love how it read the entire... Uh... The entire emote. Um, no ultra kill, interestingly enough. Um, but a ton of time in Doom Eternal. I mean, fair play. Fair play. Let's see. Uh, what are we... What am I rating that one? I will say... Um, you know, low diversity, but decent overall. Uh, that's what I'll give it, you know? You gotta, you gotta branch out a little bit. Or maybe you just know what you like. That's kind of based in and of itself. Okay, this is Shiko. So Terraria Mod Loader, 910 hours. Did yours get reviewed? I can't access your, your profile sequel. Um, I can't see the game. So if you could post a screenshot, I will. Um, you yeah, had 910 hours is crazy. Um, 438 hours in Monster Hunter World. Sounds about right, and it's kind of why I haven't gotten into Monster Hunter. Uh, Hollow Knight, 
368 hours. Not probably not surprising considering that uh that sequel or sequel Shiko uh does the Pantheon a day. So that's that that's probably a lot of time in and of itself. Stardew Valley almost 300 hours is crazy. Although if you combined my Switch time with my Steam time, I'd probably have about 200. That would be my guess. 250 hours in Risk of Rain 2 is crazy. A little more Terraria time. You got over a thousand hours in Terraria. Um, which is brain rot, but kind of base brain rot. Like, that's acceptable brain rot. Like, at least it's not, uh, you know, League of Legends or something. <laughs> Don't starve together. Kind of cool. I, it's been a long time since I've played that. Barrow Trauma, Subnautica. How do you put 100 hours into Subnautica? I guess mods, maybe? Celeste, 90 hours. Also very cool. Rain World. Yeah, this is pretty based. Yeah. Basic, but based is what I will I will bestow this. These are all, like, pretty popular, pretty recent games, but all very good ones. Basic, but based is what I'm going with. <laughs> 9 out of 10, not biased. Is it just because of the Barrow trauma? I mean, I, I, could, I could appreciate it. Let's see, what? Two playthroughs, not using guides at all. Oh, Subnautica. What's Subnautica 2? No, this is the first one. The second one's, what, below zero? What is this? User. User. Discord user? User. Uh, I hope his profile works. Because I've had that issue before with SQL. Whose profile I just couldn't view for some reason. It's also because she's a mod, true. As if I'm as if I'm obligated to be nice to my mods. Nah. If anything, I'll be the most mean to the mods. Um, TF two six hundred eighty three hours. I, uh, on one hand, I respect Team Fortress two players, especially ones that are still playing in the year twenty twenty three. Kind of like against all the odds. Um, however. I have no interest in the game. I just don't. I'm so I've I've tried. I just I can't get into it. It seems cool. Like I I think it's cool, but it's not for me. Um, payday two, honestly, kind of the same. Kind of. I probably have like I don't know how many hours I would have in payday two. It's been a long time since I've played it, and the game has changed a lot. Um, but I liked it. I enjoyed playing it with friends, and then I just got really, really sick of it, and I never went back to it. <laughs> but it was fun. Gary's Mod, Ultra Kill, Portal 2, Dusk, it's pretty good. This is kind of a fall off from 60 hours to 20 hours. Kind of the popular boomer shooters here, Dusk, Cultic, Ion Fury, Left 4 Dead, Turbo Overkill, Half-Life. Okay, we're kind of getting into stuff that he doesn't have a lot of time in yet. Maximum action. I need to try that. Why play Payday 2 when <laughs> Enter the Gungeon is basically the same? I ask myself that every day. <laughs> Except, what? <laughs> Thought Culture was 141 hours and I was about to scream. Yeah, dude, I don't even think, like... The mo- the... How many hours do you think, like, the greatest cultic speedrunner has in cultic? It's probably that at most. <laughs> like, I love cultic, but there is just not that much content yet. <laughs> This is pretty good. Another one that's kind of like heavy recency biased. Like you have some kind of old classic like source games that like everyone kind of owns. Lots of time in payday. Ultra kill high as expected. And then it, you kind of just get into like the relatively new boomer shooter territory. But pretty good. I would say. I respect it. I can, I can respect what's going on here. Who is next? Oh, Dave. So Dave is going to be funny. Dave's account is going to be funny. He owns less than 30 games. This is Dave.exe, by the way. 200, almost 250 hours of Ultra Kill. 180 hours of Doom Eternal. 
This man has very, very refined taste. <laughs> Was my best on Cybergrind? I don't know. I, I don't know. A uh, hundred hours of Tab G, bro. He played 36 hours of Subnautica Below Zero, a game which he reportedly hates. Horizon Zero Dawn, 35 hours. Already 35 hours on Splitgate? He started playing this game like last week. Amogus, 32. Impact Point, 21. I think he has more hours on Impact Point than Flippy. Bro, that's... That ain't right. Risk of Rain 2, 10 hours. That's very sad. Very sad, because Dave did not like Risk of Rain 2, from what I remember. Which is a shame, because I believe I convinced him to buy it. Yeah, and then we just get into games where he has, like, no time in them. A lot of games that he seemingly dropped after not that much time. Like, a Medieval is not a four-hour game, but he seemingly didn't beat it. Three hours in Barrow Trauma. You got sucked into CSGO for three hours? <laughs> the only Risk of Raid 2 hater? I mean, kind of. Baba is you, 3.6 hours played with zero achievements. That That's one that he dropped on its absolute head. Um, I feel like I almost have to grade uh, Dave's Steam library in tiers. We have, like, based... But basic, like, boomer shooters, movement shooters, whatever you want to call them. Remnant? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. He, he, there was, uh, there was more. There was more to it. Wait a second. Open link. Here we go. So this is, <laughs> oh, it's two different images. This is Remnant. 361 hours and three minutes, I believe. He owns it on Epic. So that is his official most played game. So that's a lot of time in just Remnant. Also kind of based because the game's pretty good. And then you have Ultra Kill. Great game. But but you know, everyone here is everyone here is an Ultra Kill fan. We can all agree with that. Same thing with Doom Eternal. That's more than I would have played of Doom Eternal, though. I don't like that game that much. <laughs> and then we get into the whack territory. 107 hours in Tab G. How? Subnautica Below Zero, eh, I mean, same with Horizon Zero Dawn. Splitgate, mainly just like he put all that time in recently, and then you kind of just get into like the games he got for free, or I think I, I think I gifted him this game, honestly. This is a very like, it's a very green Steam library. There's not that much here. It's kind of interesting. But uh, Young Dave has time to grow yet. Oh yeah, he could have got it when it was free. I thought I gifted him a game. I can't remember if it was that or not. Anyways, Uno is free on Xbox. Holy shit. Um, so next is Rude Scalabander. Doom Eternal is A tier at best. 2016 is S. You know, I kind of... Don't think... I think they're both, like, A tier. They both have, like, different problems. All right, let's see. Oh, my God. What? What am I looking at? <laughs> what am I... I, I, I don't play VR, so, like... This is, like... I opened up the mainframe. So, I'm assuming this is all VR chat and VR chat adjacent time. So that, that's a lot of time. What is that? Like 3,000 hours? Almost? In VR? <laughs> the first, like, game game is Enter the Gungeon with... Jesus Christ! 645 hours? More VR stuff. Scrap Mechanic. That's also a lot of time for Scrap Mechanic. Ultra Kill. Almost the same exact amount of hours as Dave. Like, shockingly close. I think he had 245. TF2? More VR. Oh, the, those are bugged? Okay. Kerbal Space Program. Okay, based. I haven't played that much of this game because I'm stupid. But uh, it is cool. It's a cool game. Terraria. Just Cause 3. That's a lot of time in Just Cause 3. I like Just Cause 3, but I don't think I have even close to that much time in it. 
The messenger, I need to play. I need to play this. But 98 hours? Same thing with Surgeon Simulator. Are these all bugged? Like, I'm, I'm really shocked. Like, Surgeon Simulator's VR, right? Just Cause 3 is just dumb fun and I love it. I, I feel that way about Just Cause 2, which I think is my favorite. I would say 3 is second best, but it's a, it's a significant drop off for me. They're both good. Okay. This one is really based Downwell. Have you guys played Downwell? This game is so fucking fun. It, it goes on sale for like less than a dollar. Um, yeah, like 47 cents. Um, it's super. Let me just open the page. Basically, all you do is you're a little guy and you just fall down a hole. Uh, and your your shoes are a gun. So every time you jump, your gun like fires. It's fucking beautiful. And basically, you just have to go as low as you can without dying. Um, and it's it's three dollars not on sale, and it's definitely worth three dollars. But it goes on sale for like literal pennies. So just stash it on your wish, wish list and just buy it eventually. Um, oh, that was. These are Dave's. Anyways, for having for having Downwell on your list, I would like to give you the first dimensional slaughter code. If you don't already own it. <laughs> Cause that is that is an ultra based game. So Rude, I will I will message you the code. And if you don't want it, just let me know and I'll give it to someone else. But there you go. Enjoy. I I DM'd it to you on Steam. Enjoy that shit. And enjoy Downwell. Everyone should play that. That shit rules. Um, interesting. <laughs> Overall, interesting. Uh, the, the VR stuff is kind of over my head. But, um, some cool games on there. In between all of that. <laughs> just Cause 4, they dropped hard. Yeah, I heard it was bad. Um, so I just haven't even played it, honestly. Who's next? Chicken Milker, a.k.a. Majuri. Let's see. Lots of time in Elden Ring, kind of base. Not that many games, though. Holy shit. Okay, but a lot of hours between very, uh, very few games here. Sea of Thieves. 569 nice hours. CSGO, 500 hours. Elden Ring, 468 hours. Doom Eternal, 266. Ultra Kill, 231. Grand Theft Auto, 205. They count the time in parallel for all the VR apps open. Oh, interesting. Okay, I see. That's uh, that's kind of weird. Well, either way, enjoy your enjoy your key for Dimensional Slaughter. Um, I'll give away one more uh, to another library that I like. Um, feel free to submit them in the Discord. I'll try and go through them a little faster than I have been. GTA 5. Is this count GTA Online? Because that's the only way. I, I, I couldn't play 205 hours of, uh, of GTA 5 alone. Crying RN. Yeah, I mean, you gotta just put a ton of time into, into, uh, Downwell to get the code. Yes, okay. Oh, 890 hours on Fortnite. <laughs> Lol. Uh, well, you know what? Fortnite's kind of coming back in like in, in the public eye. Balloons TD battles inscription. This is pretty good. I like this too. 200 hours on GTA 5 is kind of despicable, but. Damn, you've played less Splitgate than me and you're way better at the game than me. <laughs> Based on the one time we uh, we played together. Pretty good. I'm getting into the low hour count here. This is a gamer guy. AKA Gamer Gaming. 300, 332 hours. Most of that I assume no hitting uh, ultra kill. Oh, yours is a shared account. That's right. Well, so far, most of this is pretty cool. 
Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Human Fall Flat is a fun game, but I would not personally put 160 hours into it. Um, but I'm assuming, yeah, since it's shared, that uh, that's probably not all just you. Zero Ranger, a game that I would still like to get into, um, but haven't yet. VR Chat, I believe you said wasn't you among us. I don't know if that's you or not. 100% on... Uh, on Pizza Tower. That's insane. That's actually insane. Gary's mod. Pretty cool. A Hat in Time. 76 hours. And three achievements. What were you doing in A Hat in Time? <laughs> That's a fun game, but like... Huh. Lots of hours in Stick Fight as well. And we're kind of getting low here. Pretty good, though. Even if this is a shared account, there's nothing, like, incredibly embarrassing here. Like... The most embarrassing thing is maybe 115 hours in Among Us. But, like, bro... Th this is 2023 talking here. In, like, late 2020, when you had been locked inside for, like, an entire-ass year, you could have played 100 hours of Among Us, too. I didn't play, uh... <laughs> Wait, what? Did my sub go through? Yeah, I, did. I didn't see it on the sidebar, but I appreciate it if you did sub. Thank you very much. Um, I think you just have to click the notification thing to get it to go through. Like, on the... as a notification. Yeah, Twitch just erases it sometimes. It's really stupid. <clears throat> oh, you're on phone. Gotcha. No, but 115 hours in Among Us is not all that crazy. There was a time and a place where that, uh... Where that might have made sense. So I, I respect this overall, and even if some of it is your brother, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, oh, here's sequel. Okay, this is sequel screenshot. Um, oh, a lot of siege too. I see that. I see that. Not nearly as much as me. That's like one, what one sixth of what I have in that game. But it's still a lot. 411 hours is a is a pretty respectable amount of time in that game. Or, you know, despicable. Depending on how you look at it. SCP Secret Lab I've never played. But I've heard that game is pretty popular. My brother's the Among Us. I, I, hey, it doesn't matter. All I'm saying is I get it and I can respect it. Yeah, maybe I should try this game. I know it's free. I, I just I, I just didn't know what it was really. Risk of Rain 2, yeah, that's quite a bit of time. Rust, quite a bit of time in Rust too. That might be a despicable amount of time in Rust. I don't know. There are definitely people with more time than that, but <clears throat> it could be bad. It could be bad. I did see the Hyperlight Breaker trailer, and I'm very excited. It looks really good. Um, and VR chat, which <laughs> sequel was roasting other people for having VR chat and has 131 hours himself, uh, and 344 hours in ultra kill. Is that the most? No, I saw someone who had like 400, right? A lot of people in like the 200, 300 hour ballpark in this game though. I don't know if I could will myself to, to play that much of ultra kill. And I love the game. I absolutely love the game. But this has to be, like, a significant amount of, like, cyber grind, which I don't really like. Either that or just, like, an inordinate amount of just grinding levels over and over again. Which is more palatable to me, but maybe not for 340 hours. Um, but all in all, this is pretty respectable. I would say. Oh, here we go. He's got a second page, too. It was just down a little bit. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh yeah, th this is pretty good too. Titanfall 2? That's a lot of- uh, Oh, right. I, I forget people like play this game multiplayer. Um, because I've never really played the multiplayer. The servers were dead when I bought this game, but I love the campaign. Which lasts all of about four or five hours. It's fantastic. But it's certainly not 131 hours long. So yeah, that's probably multiplayer. If I- if I just use my last two brain cells a little bit. TF2. Satisfactory. I've never played this, actually. I feel like I could get into this, but also, like, it feels like a game that you need to, like, put hundreds of hours into to get the most out of. 
Red match. This game doesn't look real. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. It doesn't look real. It looks like a- it looks like a fake game. Like, it, it looks like something that you would get baited into- it is free. But it looks like something you would get baited into, like, paying a couple bucks for. Only to, like, start it up and have it not be, like, what you thought it was at all. Um, but apparently it has kind of sick, like, movement and tech and stuff. And it's actually a pretty good game. It just looks like hot dog shit. <laughs> uh, and Deep Rock. Pretty good. Pretty good. I- I can't lie. Oh, here you go. Okay, so we don't have a full list from Marino. We do have his Barrow Trauma hours. 839 hours in Barrow Trauma. That's, uh, at that point, I think you just have a license to operate a submarine. I'm not even gonna lie. I think you can just legally operate a submarine if you just show them this. I'm not 100%, but that's my guess. Had enough points when the Wrath update came out to buy all the custom color skins on weapons? I almost did. I think I only had to grind for one. Has he seen the new ending though? I mean, probably. Unless he's still grinding chess. <laughs> what do we got here? Average Prodigy. Destiny. Okay, Destiny. 600 hours in Destiny 2. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. I feel like, and this is no disrespect to Destiny players, I feel like Destiny players inhabit another plane of existence from other gamers, from regular gamers. And that's all I'm going to say. Like, I I feel like people who love Destiny, like, all they think about is Destiny. And they're, like, excited for the next update of Destiny. And, like, they're talking about it like it's a game release. Like, Lightfall. People are talking about Lightfall. Like, it's an entire fucking game release. And I'm like, I just don't... I don't think about Destiny at all. It, like, doesn't exist to me. My friend has about 1,800 on PS4. See? And I believe it. That doesn't even sound that crazy to me. It's like they live and breathe destiny. Um, need to go and I'll watch the VOD. Thank you for my award. Hey, yeah, enjoy that. You used to play it a shit ton, but had to drop it because you got to sink so much time into it. Yeah, I mean, that's basically the reason I never got into it. I'm going to be honest, like some of the moment to moment gameplay looks pretty fun. Like the gunplay looks clean. The abilities look fun. Um, but yeah, I just, I can't bring myself to do it. Like it's just so much to, to get like anything out of it. Hollow Knight based, Ultra Kill based, Hades pretty based. I have my issues with Hades, but anyone who, like, th I probably have about. No, maybe I have less time than this in Hades, I think. Not 100%, but it's a good game. I just, I, I just think it's a little overrated. <laughs> Wasn't Destiny like 200 gigs at one point? Don't know. Never downloaded it. It's pretty much like Warframe. Yeah, Warframe is another one that's like that. Crosscode giga based. I don't even know if you can beat crosscode in 38 hours, honestly. Um, I should check how much time I have it on it on my Switch. That's where I've played the bulk of it. I actually I own crosscode three times. Um, I've played it on Switch, and then I got it on itch in a bundle. So I have like a like a DRM free version of crosscode that I played a bit of, and then I finally like purchased it on Steam. So I own three versions of crosscode. Uh, so that should tell you. I like that game. 30 hours in Super Auto Pets. This is the first instance of Super Auto Pets we've seen. But 30 hours isn't like an insane amount. For non-VR chat players, I have a lot. For a VR chat player, I don't have a huge amount. I believe that, honestly. No, that makes perfect sense. Ender Lilies. I've heard this game is good. Is this, this is like the one about the little girl who basically has like a JoJo stand that fights for her, right? <laughs> oh! Oh, baby. This. This is based. This is a great game. And you can trust me when I say this because I don't really care for anime and I don't really care for visual novels. But goddamn is it good. It, it's actually like, it, it single-handedly made me like appreciate this genre. Um, it's so fun. Uh, like, 
it just kind of the time just kind of flies by when you're playing this um and it's well written um there's kind of a story but not really it's kind of just like conversations with people <clears throat> and just like a tiny bit of gameplay where you just make them drinks but it's fun it's fucking fun and the music's amazing i use it on stream sometimes and then we're kind of getting into the realm of like haven't played that much yeah katana zero also this might be, other than Destiny, which is just kind of like a blemish on this uh, account. This might be my favorite one so far. Like, there's a lot of uh, good games in here. But then, like, there's not, you kind of drop off and then it's like, like seven hours in Elden Ring? What are you doing? Play the goddamn game. It's like a 130 hour game. Doesn't care for visual novels, Neon White. Did it seem like I was having a blast with the visual novel component of Neon White? <laughs> it was not exactly my favorite. <laughs> but I digress. Here's Siphon. Nice Sekiro background. That's cool. Oh, man. That's a lot of time in Isaac. A lot of time in Risk of Rain. A lot of time in Gungeon. A lot of time in Terraria. But less than Shiko. Right around the same amount of time as so many people in Ultra Kill. Right about 300, 330, 340. Yeah, and all these are... These are all 100 percent it, too. Which is crazy. Especially Isaac. That I cannot be fucked to 100% this game. Uh, so many of these, these achievements were added after I stopped playing so much. I actually had a good amount of the content unlocked in, like, the base version of Rebirth. But, like, since all the DLCs and stuff, I just cannot be fucked. Um, same thing with Risk of Rain 2. The max achievements are pretty impressive. This is... This is quality. Gary's Mod Dead Cells. Nice. A lot of time in uh, Metal Gear Rising. My goal in life... It was my goal in life to 100% Isaac, and it was completed. Well, congrats. Uh, I've... I can't imagine that being your goal in life, but you know what? To each their own. Yeah, this is all pretty damn good. I like this. Teardown. Extremely based. Noida. You have a lot of games like over 50 hours or so. Oh, you know what? Now you played 44 hours of Code Vein. I'm throwing it all out. Get it out of here. I don't want it. I don't want it. No Code Vein. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually haven't played it. I just know it's anime souls. Um, here's Yidicus. Let's see. We got two here. Um, wow. Okay. This might be the most degenerate one yet. Almost 500 hours in Brawlhalla. 115 hours in Paladins. I don't know what this... Shell Shock? Oh, this is like tanks. Okay, that, Slay the Spire is pretty based, though. I'll give you that one. And what's this? Among Us and Ultra Kill right next to each other, as they should be. Stick, another stick fight. I, res I always respect stick fight. That's a fun game. This is the weirdest... I mean, a lot of these are free, right? Five hours in aim labs. What is this? Oh, this is siege, I think. Six hundred twenty six hours. Okay, so a little under half of what I had. This is pretty degenerate. Lo love me some slay the spire. Love me some ultra kill. I can forgive stick fight and among us. But everything else is kind of crazy. <laughs> everything else is kind of crazy. Especially almost 500 hours in Brawlhalla. Little under half of what I had? What do you mean? That's right. 800 would be half of what I had. He had 600. I know I'm a degenerate for playing 1,600 hours of Siege. I know. Trust me, I know. You don't need to tell me twice. <laughs> Alright, here's Retro. 
Oh, here we go. We got a hell of a list here. Gary's mod is the most played. I can respect it. Apex. I can still respect it, but a little bit less. Payday. Ultra kill. Right, right in that same ballpark of like mid 300s. Are all you guys the same person? Are all my chatters the same person? Is that what's going on here? Is that what's going on here? I'm, I'm starting to get weirded out. What, what's going on? <laughs> You're not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust you yet. You do have the most ultra kill, kill hours. That's true. Last played November, though. That, mine's kind of like that, too. I think I played it in January, but I haven't played a lot since, uh, since about October, November. They're all just retro in disguise. Master Chief Collection, that's pretty cool. Fury, a lot of time in Fury, but 100% achievements. I'll, I'll respect it. I, I need to go back to Fury. I want to complete a, a Fury or playthrough. I did a run through on just like the regular mode just to see how far I could get without dying. And I made it to the edge without dying. And then he just started kicking my ass because I just tilted and then I quit. I didn't even bother to, <laughs> to do the last two bosses. Hollow Knight, almost 100%. Dark Souls 3, a lot of time. It's funny that Dark Souls 3 is your most played Souls game. Well, okay, but I guess maybe that excludes like console hours as well. But on Steam, at least it's your most played. Because I recall it not being your favorite. Uh, same with Elden Ring, honestly. A lot of time in Doom 2016. I think this may even be the first appearance of Doom 2016. It's not my favorite, but it has the best mods. That's very fair. TF2. Okay, we got a second page. Persona 4. That's probably one playthrough, too, I'd imagine. Persona games are crazy and super intimidating to me. Okay, you have a little bit of time in Destiny 2 yourself here. Uh, curious. Not quite as much, though. SCP Secret Lab? I, I guess I didn't know this game was like a game that you could put like hundreds of hours into. Maybe I have to check it out, though. That's a lot of time in Geometry Dash. Okay, we've gotten progressively more whack here. 115 hours in Phasmophobia brings it back, though. Yeah, yeah, I respect this. It's a little basic, but overall good. Yeah, yeah, I respect it. Who's next? We probably have some new submissions. Here's Bomber. Gary's mod. Siege. Okay, we have another 400 hour uh, count in, uh, in Siege. Three quarters of those Doom Hours are in the snap map and multiplayer mode. Oh, I, yeah, I forgot that even has that. That was a bit ago. Yeah, I mean, the bulk of my Siege Hours were over two, three years ago. TF2. This Gaia? I don't even really know what this is. I've heard this name before, but... A lot of time in tabletop. You, like, do, like, a D&D &D campaign in tabletop or something? Because otherwise, I I don't know. We Me and my friends boot this up to fuck around, but I couldn't imagine putting 50 hours into it. I guess really depending on uh, on what you do. That specific one is a dumb gotcha game. Gotcha. <laughs> Makes sense. Skyrim. Turbo Dismount. Let's fucking go. This game is sick. <laughs> it's basically like a puzzle game that involves just like... It's, I don't even know if it, I would call it a puzzle game. It's basically just a car crashing simulator. <laughs> it's pretty damn fun though. I don't think I have 40 hours in it, but I I definitely got a good like, you know, I got a good few hours out of this game just fucking around. Give him the key. We'll see, we'll see. I like this one so far though. I'm knocking off points for the gotcha game. And Paladins. Everything else, pretty good, though. What is Ring of Elysium? Don't tell me this is another gotcha game or you've lost the key. <laughs> a lot of time in Tab 
Oh, the totally accurate battle simulator. It's different. It's not tab G, it's tabs. That was an old battle royale game. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll forgive it. And then we're kind of getting out of the territory where you have a bunch of hours. Oh, here we go. Here's Britta. I will not be giving Britta the key because I don't think she'd ever touch it. Bro, this is like all... It's three farming games, two simulators, and Among Us. She's got P rank on all of Prelude just now. Congrats. This is about right, honestly. I would love to see Britta switch hours because she almost definitely has more hours on Stardew on Switch than she does on PC. My time at Porsche is a good game, though. I enjoy it. I played through most of that game and enjoyed it. Um, it's less of like a farming game and more of like a you just go out and collect shit and then craft stuff. But it's pretty good. It's like an interesting take on the on the like farming crafting simulator genre. And then this is the sequel, I think. I haven't touched this one. Power Wash, kind of based. House Flipper, kind of based. Among Us. Listen, I'm not judging anyone for playing Among Us. I probably had more time in Among Us. I just don't think I scrolled down far enough. So there's Britta's. Masked. I don't know who Masked is in chat, but... I will go through this one. What? Excuse me? Okay, that was weird. A lot of time in TF2. Who's getting the key because Britta isn't Britta the second to last? I don't know. I'm th I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. Terraria, Borderlands 2. Okay, interesting. Gary's Mod, CSGO. A lot of kind of staples here. Skyrim, Binding of Isaac. World at War. 129 hours? So Hollow Knight figures, came while you were on vacation. They're really nice. I think I saw the photo. I was still like checking my phone. I just wasn't responding as much, but I think I saw the photo. Very cool. Unturned again. World at War is base, but I don't know how you got 129 hours in. I remember not really liking that one. I was more into the modern warfares and World at War kind of was like, kind of fell flat for me. 88 hours in Ultra Kill. Slay the Spire, okay. Ooh, Marvel Snap, ooh, Smite. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sekiro, that's, that's probably like a playthrough of Sekiro. New Vegas, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. World at War is all custom zombies. Oh yeah, that makes sense actually. I forgot that was the first one that had zombies. That's kind of cool. I'll give you that one. Um. Okay, I, yeah, I think that's all of them. All right. Let's see. What do we have here? Brit is out. Bomber had some gotcha games, but he's in the running. I like retros. But I feel like I, I I feel like I would seem too biased if I gave the key to a mod. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, oh, Yidikus is definitely out. That was by far the wackest library <laughs> we had seen. I like siphons. I like this one except for Destiny. That's kind of despicable, but very very respectable for having Crosscode and Valhalla on there. Uh, that's Marino's Barrow Trauma hours. I think sequel's out. It's pretty good, but not my favorite. This one, surprisingly based despite being shared. Although, but because I can't be certain what hours are yours, I think I'm I think I'm giving you the boot as well. Also, you already own the game, if I remember correctly, gamer guy. So you're out anyways. Um, this one's pretty good. Ultimate custom night? What? 12 hours in Impaler is kind of based. I'm getting rid of it. Getting rid of it. What do we have left? Maybe... <sighs> it's good games in here. A lot of time. There's a lot of time invested in, in this. 
This is a this is a labor of love. A lot of good games here. All right, Siphon, enjoy your key. I'm DMing it to you on Twitch. Let me know if it doesn't work. I, they all came directly from the dev, so I think it should work. Enjoy your key. Ultimate customizes a free Five Nights at Freddy's game with 50 characters. Oh, you should have told me that before I gave you the key. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Enjoy it. Uh, congrats on 100% Binding of Isaac, by the way. That's fucking insane. I can't even imagine. I was about to say, I can't even imagine the amount of time that would take, but I can because it's right there in front of me. <laughs> 1,300 hours or whatever. Um, yeah, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Enjoy Dimensional Slaughter. As I am 